This is Dr. Senthil Kamla Shekharan, Senior Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon at Lotus Specialty Clinic. And today I'm going to talk to you about knee pain in the elderly as part of our common orthopedic problem series. As you very well know, knee pain is one of the most common problems affecting the joints. The elderly people usually present with pain in the knee, swelling around the knee, and can also have painful creaky joints. Walking up the stairs becomes painful, coming down the stairs also is painful. They cannot squat or even sit cross-legged. Now I'm going to demonstrate some simple exercises to get relief from your knee pain. The first one is straight leg raise. In this exercise, you lie flat on the couch. You lift your leg up straight without bending the knee, approximately 10 inches from the couch. Hold it in the air for five seconds. Then bring it down and do this, repeat the same on the next leg. You do approximately 20 repetitions in the morning and in the evening. The next exercise is called the quadriceps drill in which we place a rolled up towel or something like a foam roller underneath your knee and bring your knee to extension using the help of the quadriceps muscle in contraction. The next exercise is a mini squat in which you actually stand against the wall and slide down the wall with your backside with your knee bending up to 40 degrees to 45 degrees. You come back up straight and repeat it for around about 15 to 20 reps and each time you go down you hold yourself in the bent position for around about 5 seconds. These three help to strengthen the quadriceps muscles which are the muscles in the front of the knee. The muscles at the back of the knee are the hamstrings and to strengthen that I would teach you two more exercises. The first one is the glute bridge in which you lie flat against the couch with your knees bent you raise your pelvis off the couch. By maintaining your abdomen and your hips up and your knee in the straight line by doing this you give flexibility to your hip and knee muscles. The last exercise is a hamstring stretch in which you lie on your tummy and you use a exercise band or a theraband and keep it wrapped against your ankle and try to bring your knee into flexion at, by bringing it towards your buttock. By doing this you actually gain movement to your knee and also stretch the hamstrings in a very nice way. The other way of doing a hamstring stretch is to lie flat on the couch and use a theraband or an exercise band wrapped around your foot. Keep your one knee bent and keeping the other knee stretched with the theraband try to do a straight leg raise. The more you're able to straighten and stretch your leg towards the hip the better is the Pull, on, pull and stretch on the hamstrings. The more higher angle you're able to raise your leg, the better is the hamstring stretch. If you have discomfort in your knee, try to avoid the causative factor. Rest your knee, use some ice packs to reduce the swelling, get some support, knee support or a brace. And if the pain still persists, meet your doctor, and start yourself on some anti-inflammatory medications. In the cases where the pain still persists after taking medications, you might need further help, which might include physiotherapy, exercises to your knee, or even injections to your knee. Thanks.